up guys welcome to another vlog today i'm coming to you guys from rio de janeiro i am so excited very short visit obviously all my visits are short but i uh, just want to start off showing you how i started my day i am having difficulty filming because everybody out here is telling me to be extremely careful not to film with my camera etc so i didn't really vlog earlier but when i got here the first thing i did was i hit the beach went out there had a uh, caipirinha on the beach went for a swim the water was extremely cold but refreshing because it's really hot right now just enjoyed the beach for about an hour and a half it came back up and now i'm going to head to pan de azúcar we're going to go explore pan de azúcar and hopefully make it to christ redeemer that's really all i have time for today so we'll see how this vlog goes or how my day goes uh, but i'm extremely excited to be here i, I already i love the vibes in rio and uh, yeah, I can already tell you, I hope to come back. So let's get the vlog started. So I'm at the rooftop of the hotel I'm staying at, and I'm trying a Brazilian beer it's called Casaldis. It's all right, it's not great, but it's, it's all right. It's refreshing. They poured it in a, I'm gonna show you guys the view from up here. It's spectacular. Uh, and that's the thing about Rio de Janeiro. From what I can see, anywhere you're at in the city, everything just looks epic. It looks just amazing. I'm also excited to try some of the uh, the food here. So yeah, let me show you guys. All right guys, check out this view. It is amazing, look at that. Just like you see it online and on, in movies. Beautiful, look at the water. There's completely spectacular views from up here. So I was just referred to some of this churrasqueria, Brazilian style food by some locals. It's a seven minute walk from where I'm standing right now. We're gonna go check that out before I uh, hit the streets because I'm starving. It's blazing hot, man. The sun, oh my God, I can't even see my screen. My phone gave me a warning already. It's gonna shut down because it was so hot. I feel right at home, honestly. I love this place already. <laughs> I will say I don't feel uncomfortable or at all. And sometimes you just, you know, Gotta use common sense. Just gotta be careful, that's all. Get your bathing suits on, get your, your tangas on, your bikinis on. So if you've never been to a churraqueria, a Brazilian churraqueria, Brazilian steakhouse, they give you these, right? Green for serving, yeah, meat please, no thanks. So I'm gonna leave it there, they're gonna bring me some meat. And then we come over here and order our food. Empanadas, empanadita, they have something that's called, oh, caneloni de carne seca. Why not, let's try one of these, check that out. A little bit of rice, arroz branco, which is white rice, or al arroz blanco. And then here we have fejao, which is the black beans. It looks amazing. Nada, nada de esto mezclado con marisco, ¿no? Solo esto. Solo eso. Este marisco. Okay, esto no. Este no. No, esto tampoco, carne. Carne. Carne seca. Okay. Okay, so I have an allergy. Ah, that's right. Okay. A little bit of pickle. A little bit of pickle, just a little bit. Okay, that's right, let's try it. Linguiza. Linguiza? Yes, Brazil linguiza. Okay. Ah, wow! Thank you. Excellent, look at that. This is javali. Javali? Javali. Okay. It's very good. Javali. Okay. Well, this is amazing. This is amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Look at this. Uh, they asked me where I was from and they brought me a Panamanian flag. Ain't that something? Eso como se llama? Aucata. Aucata. Sí, como no. Qué belleza. 
<laughs> Excellent, gracias. Okay. Right, so I just flip my little caipirinha. Caipirinha, excelente, muchas gracias. Panama, Panama sí. All right, let's try the meat. I'm going to be honest with you, I I couldn't understand the the type of meats that I got, but <laughs> they look good. Oh my God, so tender. Mm. Mm. I don't know what they're doing. Maybe singing happy birthday. <laughs> Check this out, guys. Look what they brought me. That cool. It's so nice of them. <laughs> okay, guys, that was that was delicious. That was a really nice experience. They were so nice in there, and uh, you know, it's just sometimes little details. Little things make a, a huge impact on, on people's experience. Like that one, that, that made a nice experience for me. I'm gonna jump in an Uber and head over to Sugarloaf Mountain, but it's already four o'clock, man. Uh, that threw me off, but I had to eat. I, I had not eaten all day, and I'm running on one hour of sleep. So uh, the caipirinhas are hitting. <laughs> but yeah, check it out. We're at uh, Copacabana here. Oh uh, man, this is a beautiful afternoon. And I'm gonna order an Uber and we're, we're getting ready to go. All right, guys, yeah, I, don't, I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it up to Sugarloaf. Right behind me, check it out, the peaks. Take a ride up on the cable cart and go enjoy the views up there. I also heard they have like monkeys and stuff to see up there, which is pretty cool and all, but the line is just too damn long. And this is a problem when you get here with such short time. If you don't get to these places early, you're gonna end up running into line, so it's okay. At least I got to come here and see it. Now I know the next time when I'm not on a work trip, I can come and plan better. I'm gonna try to go up to the Christ Redeemer and end my day over there. Uh, let's go explore that area and see what else we can get into. I won't end it there maybe, but let's see what else I can get into, all right? Let's roll. got dropped off here at Corcovado. The Uber driver told me I could not uh, get dropped off in private car up there anymore. You have to buy a ticket in the cable car or get a shuttle or something else. So I'm just gonna buy my ticket. So you come over here to the kiosk. If you wanna pay with a card, you pay with the uh, kiosk. One adult is 122.50 reales. Hi guys, here we go. Got my ticket. Here's the uh, Corcovado Trem. Espacio Cultural Trem Corcovado. Check it out. guys from the very top well this has made the trip really like worth everything honestly if this is the only thing I did today I would have been happy just because the view is amazing and there's a massive crisis behind us which I'm going to show you guys in a second here uh, it's breathtaking views honestly amazing Amazing. So here we are guys, we made it. Christ the Redeemer right behind me. Amazing views from up here, totally worth it. What amazes me and blows my mind is there really wasn't a line to get up here. And uh, I think the later you come, the better. So 
This is great. But yeah, it's an impressive uh, statue there. Check it out. More views, more views. Here's the actual very end or tip of the uh, lookout. Where you see those people over there. Okay. Yeah, you just gotta be aware that a lot of people are taking pictures, selfies. Imagining this is just even worse when you come earlier in the day. So an up close look at it. So uh, it's big, but it's yeah. not as big as I thought. To be honest with you, well, actually, it is big. I just thought it was bigger for some reason. But yeah, this is uh, this is it. Christ the Redeemer in Rio de Janeiro. Okay, guys, that is it from Rio de Janeiro. This is my Rio vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I realized uh, I wasn't able to show you much, but I had a blast. And this is a beautiful city that I hope to return to very, very soon and explore more and share with you guys. This is my my first trip here, my first experience, and I'm glad I got to share it with you guys. See you guys in the next one. Stay tuned for more. Peace.